Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Empire Earth. This is Gold Edition, for what difference that makes. I'm a serious JG. I didn't even notice the difficulty level, so it's been a while since I've noticed. We're getting ready to play, and uh, I'm in unusual circumstances here. It's a family visit. I've got a quiet time sneaking in a video. Could get interrupted at any moment. But we are going to try to wrap up the English campaign with the Battle of Waterloo. And I'm going to try not to start reading the campaign information, because I keep thinking it's going to be different with each scenario, and it's not. But this is, uh, we've finished 7 of 8, so we know this is the last. There's no reason not to spend all of our uh, civilization points, uh, so let's get going. The Battle of Waterloo. Following Napoleon's defeat in 1814, and subsequent exile to the island of Elba, the corrupt Bourbon regime was restored to the throne of France. But they learned their lesson and were no longer corrupt. Oh, never mind. Escaping from exile, Napoleon returned to Paris and, in three short weeks, raised an army that forced the Bourbons to flee to Brussels. Well, why didn't they try giving sanctions a chance? Of events, the other major powers of Europe rallied to form an alliance. Sir Arthur Wellesley, the first Duke of Wellington, mm -hmm. was called upon to lead the main thrust of the Allied forces against Napoleon. Trust. It would be the first time the two great generals were to meet on the field of battle. The Duke of Wellington was eager to assume command. Though the irony of the situation was not lost on him, Napoleon and the French believed they were fighting for liberty, fraternity, and equality. Liberté, fraternité, égalité, or whatever. Aristocracy to power. Mm -hmm. But whatever the motives, Sir Arthur had every intention of winning the fight. So I don't know that much about the Duke of Wellington as a historical personage. Uh, you go to the well; they've they've updated and revised it. They've got a newer version, one of the older famine museums. Uh, didn't have very nice things to say about him. He seems to be one of the political figures who wasn't. It's like, why should we be helping the Irish during a time of famine? But um, more generally, like, I don't know what, it, it, like, are his thoughts on the irony of the situation lost on him? I don't know why it would be irony either. I don't think that's what irony means. He was a, he was a, he, he was an aristocrat. He was made Duke of Wellington. I don't know if he was of a noble family otherwise, or a high-ranking family, but he was made Duke of Wellington. He was fighting for an aristocracy. Uh, Napoleon was basically leading a dictatorship, but it was a dictatorship that was talking about liberty, fraternité, equality, etc. Respect his authority. So yeah, there's all sorts of, like, you can do a real serious study of the period. Napoleon is not the black and white villain that, say, the world got together to fight, um, you know, 130, 125 years later. But, um, because there's not a whole lot to be said to defend that guy. But, um... Yeah, the idea that, oh, he was troubled by the fact that he was fighting for the nobility. Was he? I don't know. <laughs> there is a tendency to take people who are military heroes and, and put positive social motives on them. And anyway, we are here to join the Duke of Wellington in Brussels to get our briefing on the impending French attack. He must survive this briefing or we will lose. I guess that's fair. Although he defeated Napoleon's army in Spain during the campaign of 1808 to 1814. The Duke of Wellington had never encountered the great French general himself on the battlefield. Oh, and they were going to talk about the uh, the alliance here. So we formed an alliance to end Napoleon mania. Said the surrender of Napoleon at Fontainebleau and Wellington's victory over the French troops at Toulouse propelled the Iron Duke into, popular, into a brief political career. Newly raised to the peerage, Sir Arthur was finally able to return home and be received into the House of Lords. Numerous honors and titles were bestowed on him during the campaign in Spain, but he had never had the time to receive them with the proper ceremony. Then, from August 1814 until March 1815, he served as a British ambassador to the Bourbon Court in Paris. Napoleon, meanwhile, was exiled to the island of Elba off the coast of Italy. There he bided his time. Although he was penniless, a prisoner, and a general without an army, he knew full well that he was the repository of his countrymen's dreams. All he had to do, Again, like, they're attributing this, he knew he was a repository of his countrymen's dreams. Is there, like, a internal diary of Napoleon, uh, historians have discovered that says, you know, uh, August 30, 1814. I know I am the repository of my countrymen's dreams. I have full well know this. All he had to do was appear in France and call on those who believed in fraternity and equality and, uh, liberty? Forget, forget liberty. Together on his banner, and once more Bonaparte would stand amongst the greatest in Europe. Among 
February 1815, that is exactly what happened. In less than three weeks, the whole, whole divisions of the French army had deserted to join Napoleon, and the French king had fled for his life. Shocked and alarmed, the European allies, the alliance to end Napoleon mania, who defeated Napoleon from the previous year, hastily regrouped to form a plan. Uh... Is it the Z plan, sir? Russian and Austrian troops had invaded France in the east. British, Prussian, and Dutch troops had invaded from the north. And ironically, Arctic troops had invaded from the south. <laughs> African troops had invaded from the northeast. Um, together, these forces constituted an overwhelming numerical superiority, and Napoleon could not afford to wait until they were drawn up against him en masse. Instead, he struck first. If the French are not stopped, they... Oh, we're not even going to pretend I know how to pronounce that. Quatre bras. It will be extremely difficult to keep them out of Brussels, uh, and the appearance of even one French soldier in the city will cause the Bourbons to panic and surrender. The Bourbon. It would be wise to heavily fortify the hill of Mont saint jean The French will have to pass this way to reach Brussels, and you can have the advantage of fighting from the high ground. Let's see it clear to stay. The high ground. Oh, it's the, the term high ground now in my mind, well, A, could be associated with the... I'm watching a, a series of funny videos, say deep fake videos uh, based on Star Wars of characters from Star Wars watching the prequel films, and there's a lot of fun made of of uh, Anakin dying because he underestimated the power of Obi Wan holding the high ground. But I also associate it with with the Gettysburg movie that like Turner movies made. Um, there is uh, I'm blanking on the name of the famous actor who played Lee in this. He, he did okay, but it was kind of a weird choice to play Lee. But uh, Sam Elliott plays the Union Cavalry commander who fought the Confederates on day one and held the high ground for the advancing Union Army and is one of the, one of a short list of people who sometimes said, hey, if this guy hadn't done exactly what he did, the Civil War would have ended differently. Uh, but it's Sam Elliott talking about the high ground. I could see it like it already happened. Our boys dying on the field because I didn't take the high ground. Et cetera. <clears throat> So, yeah, high ground. I guess that's what I'm getting at here. Uh, British watchtowers have been placed along the roads leading to Brussels to give you advance warning of any invading French soldiers. You have been given a lot of gold and iron to which to defend Brussels, but once they're used up, you won't be able to get any more. Stone can be located at several points around the base of Mount St. Jean. So, towers might be a good idea here. I don't know how much time we've got. To defeat Ney's army at Quatre Ross, eliminate all of his cannon or, and, or all of his infantry. To defeat the main French army, eliminate all dark blue cavalry and cannons. Be prepared to mobilize your troops and move them anywhere should the high, higher priority sh that exploring the map. Yeah, that's, I think, their way of telling us that you're going to be in a hurry. Oh, and you're going to have terrible... My mouse scraping on a keyboard noises. Sorry. Well, I guess War I could try to do this. To return to Europe, yet inside oh. this palace, the exiled nobility of France amuse themselves at a grand ball. What about the douchebags? My men will die to restore them to power. It is irony. That yes, is irony, JG, because my men are known for not wanting to die. Swords at last with Napoleon himself. Sir, I've come from the Belgian frontier. French forces are assembling across the border. They appear close to launching their attack. They're going to come up the apples and stay at Paris. allies. We need Blucher and his troops as soon as possible. Frau Blucher? Sir, according to the last report, they're advancing from the northeast. No, that's where I said the African know. units are advancing from. General Blucher at once. Blucher. Seek him out in these areas east of us. Determine his position and then report back to me. Quickly. Quickly. You are my true friend, Quigley. I will never betray you like the Bourbon were betrayed by Napoleon. Didn't really betray them, I suppose. Alright, so we've got 26 points to spend... We put a few points into archers early, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to be our thing right now. Um, put a lot of points into ranged infantry. Cavalry sword, cavalry... I mean, towers? Uh, it seems weird, but this might be a time to put a lot of points into towers. Getting them up quickly and having them be effective would be good. Otherwise, field cannon. Well, 
Well, no, field cannon, I've given them attack and range. I think that's mainly what I care about. Alright, well, it seems silly, but let's, uh... Seems silly to do it so late. Well, then speed, they said, was important, too. It might be a good idea to put speed into stuff. But part of me now is like, no, towers. Let's do, uh... Range, attack, build time decrease. <laughs> I think walls are a thing, unfortunately. And there's nothing left that I can do with just six, I guess. Oh yeah, but walls are included with towers. Mountain combat bonus? I mean, I suppose I could just wait and see if um, any more points become available. Am I allowed to do anything other than... No, I can't... Um, I can't get ahead of it as far as... Uh, there's stone... I'm not allowed to get ahead of it as far as building a... Uh... Your messenger is mostly look at Gunner Rusher at impressions at all costs. If he fails, the Allies will lose the war. Okay. Oh, I don't control the Duke of Wellington, only this messenger who might as well power him up, right? I think we'll get other Curaceras later. Curacera, I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sure of it, but... This is a British outpost. I mean, I think I have unlimited time right now, but this, this messenger can't die. But I'm pretty sure once we get through the part with the messenger here, that unlocks um, strict time limits. I have at least found a place to put my mouse, where hopefully it still moves around in this response. These towers look like crap. I thought there would be a slightly more modern looking tower. Consider it done. The heads will roll. Consider it done. But exploring the map is not a priority, they say, but I'm like, I think I can get away with it now. Although this guy's not giving me great uh, spotting range or anything. Consider it done. The heads will roll. Consider it done. The heads will roll. Looks like uh, it done. I need to keep enemies out of. What is this? This is Brussels. Okay, so I can't let any enemies get into Brussels. So I think eventually I'm building a bunch of defenses up here. Or, uh, yeah, I think this is a a main corridor from which we could be attacked. They said there were towers that I would get uh, spotting from, but I don't see that happening yet. It doesn't seem like I can block every possible entrance either. The heads will roll. Consider it done. The heads will roll. Consider it done. Yeah, I'm not seeing an obvious choke point here other than getting. I could get. Uh, 
towers and walls going here. It looks like uh, looks like Brussels can be attacked from either the west or the east. And by west, I mean they'd they'd be coming from the south and moving north, but it would be towards the west side of the city or from the south moving north towards the east side of the city. And again, I'm going with, I've got all the time in the world as long as... We are under attack. Consider it done. Who attacked me? Somebody did two hit points of damage. Okay, so that might have been a sharpshooter. I don't want to mess with them. Consider it done. I take it this is where the... Uh, Belgium, yeah, this is where uh, Frau Blücher is. So let's follow this road. Let's see. Because I got off course and got down into France land, uh, Frenchian territory. Frenchian. Consider it done. The heads will roll. Yeah, I can't control any uh, troops now, or including civilians, but it does look like this tower may be a clue. I want a bunch of towers up here to slow down any advance they might try to make. And it looks like I can't actually, uh, can't actually get there from here. So I basically threw away two hit points, but I gave my guy time to get, uh, powered up. What I'm looking for, I got woods over here. I'm looking for, is this thick woods here? Okay. So there's a wide open field that we can fight in, but there is eventually a choke, a choke point near these farms that is formed by, because I'm going to assume these woods go all the way over there. And this, is, oh, there's a, there is already two towers. So I could probably build even more towers down here. But the idea is if even one troop gets by, and I don't know if they try to rush past your towers, if I would want to build walls, or if they will engage your towers. But it seems pretty apparent I want to... Uh, oh, is there a sneak, sneaky sneak path over here? Yeah, we might have some guys try to sneak over here. Unless this is a whole weird, we put it on the map for some reason. No, never mind. They can get to this for sure. Okay. So it does look like we'd want something over here to stop this. Yeah, the point of this battle, from what I was looking at, uh, this is it was like weeks ago, so it's not like I just recently spoiled this for myself. But I was looking around at some of the different descriptions of the scenarios and this one I oh there's another sharpshooter I lost another hit point interesting so there's French so there's just individual sharpshooters and I guess I found one earlier too It looks like I might need to put some towers over here. Consider it done. I gotta know if the AI will use these little paths or not. We are under attack. Am I just being penalized in general for picking around that sharpshooters just randomly appear? Consider it, done. it might be that sharpshooters just appear randomly if I'm not getting on with the objective. Okay, so like a tower or two over here, 
would uh, stop them from getting in this way, and our main army would need to be here. Because um, I think once we've got the... Once we've got uh, Frau Blucher on our side, I think we're kind of secure on this side, but our, our overall objective, I think, is to prevent the French from getting into Brussels, where the Bourbon are hiding. I really wish you were some kind of, like, medic-powered guy. Or that we had a hospital here. I don't see that we have a hospital. Oh, there's a hospital. Alright, so we can get back a handful of hit points here, assuming this allied hospital works with our insurance, and it doesn't have to be a British hospital. Like, if this is out-of-network coverage here. Okay, good. They are not considered out of network. The heads will roll. Consider it done. The heads will roll. Consider it done. The heads will roll. Okay, yeah, so we've got some basic uh Where is he? Consider it done. I don't see him. There he is. All right, I think uh, towers or even walls here would be appropriate. I don't know if it's important to kill all these guys. I don't want them hanging around while I'm... It's... These Corsairs have excellent anti-bullet uh, armor, but my infantry didn't. They were getting butchered by... Sharpshooters before. A bunch of headshots, I would assume. Consider it done. But I almost doubled this guy's bullet armor by putting all of my... Put a bunch of development points into ballistic armor. Let's defy the game and explore. <laughs> well, we were specifically told not to. We were told there wasn't time. I have a feeling that, like, large enemy armies will mobilize immediately once we've conducted this first part of the story. I don't think... Th that's the way this game usually works. There's trigger events. I don't think it's like... Consider it done. I'm wasting time now, and once the second half starts, I'll already be out of time. I don't think it usually works that way. May I assist? The heads will roll. Consider it so we got a little Belgium fortress. The heads will roll. I see something. This is Brussels. I gotta... This is Quatre Bros. Okay, so they said we need to... Uh, heavily fortify the hill at Mont Saint-Jean. Stone can be located. Defeat. So. We have to defeat the enemy at Quatre Bras, and we have to defeat the main French army. They said Mount Saint Jean. So we're here. We're actually going to have to fight an army here. I think that's. So this is the back door into our base. This is the front door into our base. So I think we're supposed to put some stuff up here as extra precaution. I wonder if I can use this river as a choke point. But yeah, I think the main attacks are going to be coming through here. Per the hints we were given. Command, consider it done. The heads will roll. I wonder if uh, this is just on the map and doesn't do anything for... There's French uh, sharpshooters just chilling out outside of this uh, base, which I thought was friendly to us. The heads will roll. Yeah, this doesn't seem like it would go anywhere. 
but it looked like there were two paths to me and to, for, for the map there was like over on the east so on the southeast part of the city there was a northern and southern approach so I'd like to find the northern one because this is the southern one we can all right, they do give you little smoky clues. Yeah, this whole zone is very much, uh... They think they're in charge around here. I don't know if the sharpshooters continue to matter once the main battle has started, but uh, if hunting them down is worth the effort. Because there's a lot of them. Pretty sure there's one over here, yeah. This is me getting as much map information as I can now. So there are two approaches here. So I'm going to need people mining a lot of stone, I think. If I really want to tower it up over here. Because I've got multiple entrances. What I don't know is to what extent do we need to get this side going. Because I feel like there's going to be at least one attack over there. Ah, but here's where the British are anyway. Here's our British peasantry, ready to come under our control. These civilians are the Allies' core of engineers, who handle construction jobs. Guard them carefully, yeah, I don't for there is no time to call up replacements. I don't control them yet. Alright, well this makes sense. So now I've, I've scouted around to where the army is. I just don't get to control it yet. I'm assuming they can come down here and, uh... Because I can't... Yeah, it looks like I won't be allowed to build villages to make new peasants. That seems to be pretty apparent. Okay. So I'm going to want to get them to some place where they can get stone. Because I've only got 600 stone. That's not going to get me too far. I can build more towers, or I can build gates. You know, I, I feel silly about this, but while I'm here, I should probably come in, and uh, I'm extending this past uh, how long it should take, because I'm going around and exploring the map, so this will... If the action starts and this thing winds up being like one video after we finally got to action, then I guess I apologize, but... We are setting out our stratagem. Now, if we need to get... We might have to have troops out here guarding this. If, if we got to go all the way out there to get stone, we'll want a couple of guys gathering stone, but we'll also want... Um, probably want at least one engineer over here to build a tower. We'll want to build towers here and here. This guy decided to bring over to the hospital because he... He took double-digit damage from fighting all the uh, sharpshooters. There was stone here, and that's... What I really want to determine is, are these guys our allies or the enemy? I feel like they're supposed to be our allies. Consider it done. 
a big old map too, isn't it? Isn't it? Because I don't know if these guys will fight for us, but if they do, once we've contacted the general, uh, general Frau Blucher, then I would feel reasonably safe getting like guys down here. But but they've already told us they we can't replace any citizens we lose. So we've got our Corps of Engineers for building towers and and hospitals and shit. And that's it. So it does make sense these would be guarded. And I would have to guess that sharpshooters would one hit our infantry. But that's my little timer. So let's call this one a video. When we come back next time, guys, we will be living in a world of French sharpshooters. See you then.